Okay guys, here's the final product. This is what it's gonna look like. When I get done, I'm gonna show you how I built, made this design and how I looked at it before I actually put it on. And so, this is what it's gonna look like. Or this is what it looks like. Oops. So, see this. To the real deal. All right, I'll get to the video. Thank you. Hello, YouTube. It's Paul Martin with DIY This. I changed the name to DIY This just because no real reason. Because it's going to be a little bit of everything. It's not just stuff you can sell, but just projects that are around the house. Anyway, I hope you find some value in this. So I'm going to go, if you have a Cricut, or know somebody with a Cricut, I mean, you can build a board. You look at my other video, how to build a board and you find somebody who's got a Cricut, and they can do this stuff for you. Or you can sell them the boards, they can put their designs on it and sell it. You can mark it up, you know. So, anyway, let's go customize. What I did is, you know, I made this here, so, and I made it in sections, you know, because I got some print and then some of it's cursive. I picked out what I liked, and I made this pattern. So, catch all this pattern, I do that. I'll go ahead and group it for now. And shrink it down. So we can get it on one page here. There we go. Let me move this over. Oops. All right. And I went and took a picture of my board. And I uploaded it. So it's right here. And we're going to insert that image. There we go. Okay. So let's move to the back. Take this image. And I'll shrink it down a little bit more. Whoop, grab the board. There. So basically, you can take a picture of what you're going to put your design on. And you go here and you upload it, find it, put it on here. You can mess around with your design, how you want it to look, place it where you want it to be. So like if I take this one, put it at one inch, see one and ten. Basically that's close enough. And then I'll take this one. And I want an inch on top and bottom of it. Okay, that's just to give you a visual of what it's gonna look like when you build this. So that's basically all I did so I could design how I wanted it to be and what I wanted it to look like. And this is what I went with. So in Cricut, like if you're gonna do a text, and let's see. So you can go up here and you can just flip through some of these. Oh, okay, there, we like that. Now when you have cursive like this and it doesn't match up, which happens all the time, what you have to do is you have to, let me move this, okay, there we go, ah, I just want to keep it in the picture, okay. So, to make it a little bigger, you can ungroup and select one and use error key. And that happened to line up, so then you select both. Error key. Now that didn't line up good, so here's where you have to sort of play around with it to get it closer. And 
tell you what, I'm gonna have to make it bigger. See how that looks. That's Now, you can, you can turn these and then just go back a little bit. Mm -hmm. There. And then this one, I'll say we want it a little bigger than the rest. There. Okay. And then, ooh, what I do? Okay. There. And now you have this big old hello. If you want to put it on there, I mean, I don't know why, but I forgot to. I'm sorry, guys. It's easy to keep screwing up when you don't know what you're doing. Okay. Let's go ahead and group that. Now, we're together. So, what I was trying to do was shrink this down and then there you go you can just throw something like that on there see how it looks anyway I don't like it here's what we went with and it turned out pretty good so now we'll Go ahead and screenshot. There we go. That's how you can envision stuff. If you're not sure what's going to look like, it can give you a better idea. You don't have to like shut there and try to figure out, man, is this going to look right? And that's what you do. And you can change the color. Like if you want to say do white. There you go. You can do white. Purple. Okay, so whatever your fancy is. It's gonna be like a cream. So, can you just play around with it? There's your color scheme that you can do. So that's all I really got. I hope you guys like it. I went ahead and I put the design on. I cut a stencil out, laid it on there, and dab paint like I do with the signs. And it, it actually turned out pretty good. I'll put some pictures on there. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.